Okay, everyone. This is the third time I'm recording this video. First time, let's stop. Second time, had some uh, noise in the house. So hopefully this time there will be no problem. <laughs> so, this is a quick video about how to find a vac, no, not, uh, park your dofold in the wild, um, and go from this kind of panicky Okay, it's broken, it doesn't read, it seems like you, it would never work again. Um, at, to this pen that really functions well and writes well and is sturdy and doesn't, it's a great pen. Um, and I find them from this horrible condition and they go and become this amazing pen. Um, so, first thing, if you can, you can get the barrel sets off. I don't know if you, you would even find a pen that you couldn't do that with, but let's say that. Um, then you could see the pen, the nib, stuff. Um, so, so this is one with the cap. It has this nice little knob. You're going to unscrew it. It might be a bit hard to undo, so run a bit of water through. And you're going to rinse it and dry it anyway. So. Getting it wet is not a problem at this stage. Um, so pull it out. Here's the inner cap. That's got a, That's where the nib goes, and it actually makes a perfect seal. And here's the main cap, and here's the clip. You can put this clip in a ammonia bath or something to get the um, brassing or whatever there is. Not yeah, off. Um, I don't think it's been brassing off. So, yeah, but if it's like a, some kind of thing um, on the clip and you want to clean it, then you can polish it. Don't polish it too much because it'll wear off the gold, but if you want to clean it, you can clean it. Um, so, run water through this. No alcohol on the celluloid because it will ruin it um, very badly. And so run water, put this up to your sink. It might even fit in an asshole. It did with mine. And we'll just go in and out and then put some Q-tips. I, I think about Shore works for Duple Jr. And then run it kind of through there, in and out. Um, you could also use a, pay, a tissue or something like a, a toilet paper and run that through. And it should be a bit bigger, but run it all the way through. And of course it would have to be clean also. Um, but for the inner cap, you can actually put that in alcohol. Um, and that will really clean it, um, because it's hard rubber, and that's not affected by the alcohol. So if you want to do something to really clean it, really an ink stain there that you want to get out, you can do it. You're safe. Um, so now we're already on to the barrel. So with the barrel, nib, grip, blind cap. So, um... This unscrews the grip section. Some people just call it the section. I kind of think that's unspecific, but that's just me. Um, you're just going to unscrew. Now, you might, m probably will, have to use section pliers so, uh, to get it loose. So, you're going to take down, as my hands are pliers, and pull and twist a bit. Not too much pressure, but a good amount and it'll probably come loose. Um, and you can buy a section pliers from Richard Binder for not too much money at all. Um, so, then this unscrews. You might even see little pop, like particles of sack falling. You know, weird stuff, but unscrew it. Don't be afraid. Um, so then you're left with this which probably will be in an ossified form. Um, unless th this video you're using to help you clean your pen that's already been restored, you'll find a sack, don't squeeze it, it has ink in it. Um, then you'll find a pressure bar, and unscrew the blind cap, which is beautifully curved, and this nice little fluting. Um, and then this is the button itself. This is brass. Yeah, this is brass. And it has four little 
click uh, notches that help compress it and fit, squeeze to fit into this little tube kind of thing in the bear where it fits. Um, so you're just going to pull that out. And this can be cleaned, wash it, um, put it in alcohol, you know, whatever, to really get it clean. Just make sure you really dry it after. Pressure bar, same thing. Um, I think some, solv some solvents will not for weird stuff. But if you want to rinse this in water or something, um, it, you will rust it if you leave it um, even slightly wet. So that's the one thing. You really have to dry it. And it will rust out and you have a useless pen if you're going to not dry it completely. So, I, and I bet even a good amount of people wouldn't even recommend doing it, but I think we can do it and be careful. Um, so, that's that. Now, for the barrel, it's cellulose, so you can't use the alcohol. But if there's ink and stuff, same thing. Run water through like you did with the cap. Put these in. You won't actually be able to put tissue because it gets small and you can't run it out to the other side. Um, but just put two or three uh, clean, these are dirty, but whatever, clean Q-tips in the barrel and run them through like you did before. That will give it a clean sheen. Um, so then, for the sack, I actually didn't repair this time this way, but a great idea is, I guess, find a nail polish thing, I guess, but more likely buy one of these. Maybe CVS sells them. This has little dots and there's 27, so if you can I identify this for sale, empty a bunch of CVS's, it's like, you know, 10 pack, buy them because they're really useful for this. And you can put your lap, and then you have this perfect applicator brush. And you just brush around that inside and be careful when you're putting on the sacks. And, and there's great description of, of this, but I'll just quickly say that you don't want to put it on the feed because then it'll clog the feed so carefully put it be very careful to put it just around that nipple thing um and then you're going to stretch the sack out you might I actually had my sister stretch the sack out because it you, you don't want to get the, uh, the sealant everywhere and so you want to have it easily just slip right on there and then you're done um so, you might want to have a person say, see you if it's a tight sack or something. Um, also, that might be covered with ossified sack. So, you want to um, take a knife uh, um, of not a super sharp knife, but a small little Swiss Army knife, and very carefully um, kind of scrape off around with this was a knife. You kind of scrape off the sack, and you'll see when it's, um, not the sack anymore, because it looks different. Um, once all the sack is chipped off of there, then you can put on the sack. And then to reassemble the pen, say you have the sack on or something, um, all you want to do, apply, put the pressure bar, which is half moon shaped, um, well, yeah, half moon shaped, into this little button. And you're going to fit this in. The, then you're going to uh, fit the pressure part in. Um, this actually is a bit wider than this little part. So it might be a bit tight. Don't, at first, um, don't be too worried about that. It just kind of fits right in there. Then, to put the sack in, that's kind of how you put it in. But just make sure that the pressure bar is flush with the barrel so you can't really see it because if it's like this. Maybe that can be seen. I see a little dot of metal in there. Then I'm going to be putting the sack in the wrong way and it's going to not function. So you really want it um, to be flush with the barrel. So there you go. So you have your pressure bar and button in. You're just going to make sure it's flush. I see it. Just put it in. It might make a little sound. But don't be worried about that. That's normal. You're not going to break the pen. Then, put this on, obviously. And...
your brain to write. Of course, you have to fill it, but that's, you just press it. Um, and yeah, it's a bit tight, at least on mine. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, and for the sack, um, there's a bunch of instructions. Make sure you really line it up. Um, you're just gonna line up this grip section with this and see how long it can. So put the sack in until it fits right against the barrel, um, and then move it up like a little bit, like that much, and then cut it where you want, where it, you saw it. Then you're gonna fit it, um, and then make sure you cut it straight, and then you're gonna fit it to the uh, nipple, and then you're done. So then for the clip, off uh, the cap, this is an easy reassembly out of Sony. This is actually a bit sprung on an angle so that it's a tighter clip, so that the clip has some spring to it. So you're gonna have to press this end of the clip right there on a bit, or or take the ball and push it forward a bit. Um, that will make it much easier, at least if it's a tight clip, to screw this um, hard rubber inner cap on. And then once you screw that on, voila, you're done. Um, and now you have a restored Parker 2. And for the nip, you can soak it in ammonia, and that will do a lot. That's a really good idea. Okay, so there you go. Parker Dufold. Here's the Schleck thing that you probably want to use. Q-tips. Great idea. Ammonia. Great idea for the nib. Alcohol. Great idea just for the hard rubber parts. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And we need a sack, obviously. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.